The peace of the Lord be with you all. Asumjwe and Kamo. You are warmly welcome to the Presbyterian Hour, a special ministry of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana. Beloved in Christ, let us draw near to the throne of grace and worship our Maker. Amen. He who created you, O Jacob, he who formed you, O Israel, fear not, I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. For I am the Lord, your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. Amen. Amen. Approach confession and dedication. Sabri ya mepe se obede nyan kupona se. Nefya supane de bambo ena edi ya bedru sabri. Rewe si utrasi kumu yimu. Yemfasi dama utunfu nyan kupon. De nyan kupon ase. Enye etrine nye papaye adumara kwenti. It is only by grace of the almighty God that has sustained us to this day. Let us give glory and honor unto the most high God. The traveling mercies we have enjoyed through his love. From different parts of the nation, God has assembled us here for this important occasion. Let us adore and give glory to his name. 
It is only by grace. Now let us ponder our actions and inactions, what we have done and what we have failed to do, and go before God, who is the merciful God, God who forgives and confess our sins to him. We appeal to the blood of Jesus Christ to pardon us, to forgive us all the sins we have committed. Let us pray for the hands that will be laid on our brothers here that the Lord Almighty will anoint these hands that even as we lay on this, our brothers, the power of the Holy Spirit will descend on them and prepare them for the work ahead of them. Almighty God, who has made the church your dwelling place, be pleased to manifest yourself to us, your servants, who meet this day in your holy place, and inspire our hearts to worship you in spirit and in truth, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. O God, most holy and most merciful, we confess before you that we have sinned and come far short of your glory. We have broken your commandments. We have been unthankful for your mercies. We have been unfaithful to the trust committed to our hands. Have mercy upon us, O Lord. Have mercy upon us. And graciously forgive all our iniquities. Cast us not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from us. But bestow on us your pardon through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Almighty Father, accept us as we dedicate ourselves anew to you and enable us by your grace to obey you in all things and to yield our hearts and lives to your service. Grant unto us a purer heart of love for you, a deeper devotion to our Lord and Savior, a truer loyalty to your church, and a stronger desire to proclaim your kingship and to glorify you, your name. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns and is worshipped and glorified with you and the Holy Spirit forever. Amen. Our scripture reading for today's service is taken from the Gospel according to St. Luke chapter 12, reading from verse 13 through to 21. Someone in the crowd said to him, Teacher, Tell my brother to divide the inheritance with me. But he said to him, Man, who made me a judge or arbitrator over you? And he said to them, Take care and be on your guard against all covetousness. For one's life does not consist in the abundance of his possessions. And he told them a parable saying, the land of a rich man produced plentifully, and he talked to himself, what shall I do? For I have nowhere to store my crops. And he said, I will do this. I will tear down my barns and build larger ones. And there I will store all my grains and my goods. And I will say to my soul, So, you have ample goods laid up for many years. Relax, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said to him, Fool, this night your soul is required of you. 
and the things you've prepared, whose will they be? So is the one who lays up treasure for himself and is not rich towards God. This is the word of God. the day that the Lord has made and we the people of God we must rejoice and be glad in it mama ya mpa nya me cheer cheer for pa unti ene nipa e wo dem ha we na ofre na sane o ye tete fo no ura ye nso ye ye sa ura yesu timu amen set your eyes on things above set your eyes on things above. Church, in Colossians chapter 3, the Apostle Paul admonished the Colossian church to set their eyes and their hearts on things above. Now, when you go to Galatians chapter 6, he demonstrates how he did that himself. So Colossians 3, he told some people, do it. In Galatians 6, he demonstrated how to do it. And in Colossians, he connected what he wanted the church members to do with the narratives of the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Similarly, in Galatians chapter 6, demonstrating his own way of setting his hearts on things above, he also connected that uh, to the death and resurrection of Christ. Galatians 6 verse 14, now he will tell the church in Galatia this time, but God forbid that I should glory, save in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom the world is crucified unto me and I unto the world. In fact, the same instruction he gave to the church in uh, uh, Colossae, that is the same approach he is giving here. But here, he was emphasizing more on the subject of success in ministry. At what point can somebody say that I'm a servant of the gospel and I have been successful? And Paul will tell you that I have so many things to boast about, to celebrate, but I will never go there. I will never touch on those things. I will never celebrate those things. I don't consider that as success. My success has its own foundation and it is different. Friends, I'm talking about setting our hearts on things above. And it has a lot to do what your focus in ministry must be. The benchmarks you set for yourself in determine whether you have been or you are being successful or not. Now, this is very important because all of us want to be achievers and we all want to be successful. It's natural desire everywhere. But in the corporate world, what determines success? Maybe an issue about profit. Success is passion for 
wealth, riches, social connections, fame, prosperity, acquisition of properties. Now in the corporate world, that is how you determine success as a leader. You talk to Paul and say that we are different. How they measure success there is not how we measure success in our contest. So I will glory, but I will not glory in those things. And he cut lock those things. That I made you, Benjamin, have every reason to be proud about my culture. But I will not do that. He was a professional. He had studied the laws of the day. I will not celebrate academic achievement. He had a profession as a tent maker. He says, I will not go there. Even celebrating Jesus, he could have celebrated that wonderful birth of Christ. So I won't talk about that. He could have touched on the healings and the deliverance, raising the dead, all the miracles Jesus did. Paul said, no, no, I will not talk about those things. Then he went to the cross. And church, remember that the cross was a symbol of shame. It was a symbol of celebration, a symbol of defeat. Then Paul said, as I set ministerial goals, as I want to focus where my destinations must be, and remember, if you don't know your destination, any vehicle can get you there. You can jump into any vehicle. If you don't know where you are going. Now Paul is saying, if I want to define and identify my destination, what should be my preoccupation in ministry? It's not culture. It's not academic. It's not material things. It is not uh, all these things. But for me, it is the cross. Why the cross? Why? A symbol of shame. A symbol of defeat. Friends, for you, five things. The cross is a symbol of sacrifice, a symbol of sanctification, a symbol of suffering, a symbol of service, and a symbol of satisfaction. Let's play on the X. Sacrifice, sanctification, suffering, service, and satisfaction. Even though others were ashamed of the cross, Paul will tell you, I will go to the cross because Jesus paid the price. He sacrificed for me. I will go to the cross because that is where the blood will sanctify me to become a child of God. I will go to the cross because he has paid the price. He did it yesterday. He will do it again. I will go to the cross because that provides a foundation for Christian service and ministry. I will go to the cross because that is where my satisfaction will come from today and the years to come. Beloved, I Papa no friend of Paul. Onu no kachira safubi wakolo se se. I was in Afua mo onsuta. Mo dana mo sorrya. Mo unfa mo akuma nche niema. E washro yo nyami mu niema hi nyami ne ya mo nyere hu. No kansa samne chira kolo se fono. Oba galeti asafunu mu umo chira koma umo tinsiya. Tiche mu duna ino na o chira umo kwenya. Adiana, we are teacher, ni papa. We are leader, papa. And can't you uncle for some muntia me na mon shenny a me ye? Ye tear why ye show. Nti Paul say, Adiana me catch them with some munyano. Me my ye. Na quire me far so a ye ye ni. Me and yame some for yame ju my ye ni. Na me one yama be bria me sorry and come to me dear hua hua me home. Me fi benja me abusiam. And to me fear your yamu hoya would deen, my mamma would do. Now, so may cast some one, near mamma kuma womupano, and your Benjamin Sam, and your Jew Sam. Well, she had the unibrasum renim for a caho, and so I say, young woman Sam, and I can't say, baby, I'm a kuma wapadia, and young woman. 
na oye tent maker wo ye adwuma ne nsa na hokwa ti bibi won ne nsa na nso osese ye ka modin bon kunim die mu a nya nya obi anya gu ne botom eh krachi na die na wo ye afa kura se yesu no so be ho ho ne ho a kwanya ye fa so wu yesu no na ye nti bi da nti ka yesu awo no ko ese pa o ka se me di yesu awo no e ho ho me ho o se no so ye nka ho asem Yesu men suo da ne nsa wanyane awufuo wasan yare enti nkase se Paul di Yesu nyankoma di akase akase no ose ano nso men ka ho di ano obeka asem na me ka kire kolose fo no se esan so mo ni Kristo awu anyane no me ami mu no nso esan se me ni Yesu awu anyane no nti me koma se me ho ho me ho a se me bo se wo bibi ho se makas me din kunim obi bi ho a enye ka enye duane enye sika enye amamre eye sa senua no o ye wura asenua no sabre no na ne dia ye chen dida ye kom na na ye nimgu ase a obi ye bo na senua mu no ne hu ani wu enti wo ko fa nimgu ase ade na wo dia kire se wadi nkunim o se sa na ye ye no me kire mu se asenua no e kasa ne kasa kire ye se Emu en wo gwa mana fori bo no ewo emu en wo te ye ho emu na wo hu amane ma ye ni nti ye nkoso en hu amane se won a woni ani da so emu no fra ye sa ye meso na emu na ye koma eto ye yem enuanum today i want to present to you that same approach to ministerial success we are living in an age the 21st century church the church in Ghana how do we determine success? There are churches in Ghana that as of now, they don't have branches in rural areas. There are urban and city-bound congregations, as if to say that they don't have messages for rural community. Remember, the Presbyterian church is both urban and rural. Get yourself ready. This church may not always send you to a comfort zone, but this church will always be there with you. Presbyterian, sorry, no, ye wo krum, ba ye wo nkura se, e chere se, ube tu miye di sofwe di nkunim, e wo krum. But Presbyterian, sorry, mo nso, ube tu miye di sofwe di nkunim, e wo nkura se. Se wa anfa sa se, mena anshe u trim, na wo su su se, ministerial success, sofwe wo di nkunim no, eni niya otiti nkura ke se mwa, if you don't set the standards well, the world will set it for you. But remember, ours is service. Ours is service. Christian ministry is service. And we don't always serve in our comfort zones. But that is what the world will tell you. You must drive the best car in town. Your children must be the best educated. You must have all the degrees and the titles. There's nothing wrong having that. But I tell you, don't let anybody set such standards for you. If you want to be successful, you must be in the U.S. If they keep you in, in Chiapiasi, then you have lost it. No. If that is where the Lord wants you to go, your response must be, yes, Lord. Because ours is service. He will call us one day good and faithful servants. Remember, we are in for the glory of God and the common good of humanity. Deviate and you are a failure. Even if you drive the best car and you have all the titles and you have built all the mansions and you are known everywhere, you have all the connections in media. If you have all the connections with political, whatever, and the Lord cannot say yes to your ministry, you are a failure and a loser. Mama no, munche papa no mun kran na omo chia montenewo nyami ba shayen nyami ba shayen ba mpemu hu eni nyami enim. Now I will tell all, and what I say to you, I say to all, that men and women of God must be legacy-minded. 
Presbyterian ministers must focus on the church that we want to leave behind when we leave the scene. We will not always be here. If we don't go that way, we are losers. Brother, it shall be well with you. The Lord will see you through. You have accumulated wisdom. Learn from them. Don't force yourself into unnecessary competition. I'm very careful. Let those who are coming be humble enough to learn from the accumulated wisdom of the great men and women who have gone ahead of us. Christ has a famusa. Ni papa mo asamoa. Mo mamu buntu tu. One day our pamu saye. Mo humu amaniye. Amaniye de mo be humu. Nanso enche why? Enche 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 enche. Christ so why afa? Enkunim emoya da church. Let's be outstanding as we sing together. We will continue praying with you. You will make it. You will succeed it. The same God who has seen us through, He has done it before. He will do it again. He will do it again. He will do it again. Hallelujah. He will do it again. Amen and amen. Christmas of Musa. Give thanks to God that this church still have great men and women to serve the Lord. Some countries are still struggling. Don't take this for granted. Thank God with them. Don't pray for them. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father and our God, we are so grateful to you for your goodness to us. And we thank you, O Lord, for calling our attention this morning to set our eyes, O God, on the things that are above. We thank you, O God, for the words of assurance that you will be with us. When, Lord, we go through difficult situations, you will be present and you will take us through. And so, Lord, we say thank you. We pray in the name of Jesus that the transformation that you desire in our church, Lord, you begin with us. And Lord, you will transform us. And that Lord will be great agents of transformation. As we leave here, may the grace that has brought us here, may the strength that has brought your word to us, may these inspire us unto good works as we bring glory to your name. In Jesus' name, amen. Moderator said, these persons standing before us have had the call of God upon their lives. They have all been affirmed by the General Assembly Council of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana and subsequently have been trained at the Ramsia Training Center under the Special Ministerial Training. They are now ready to be taken through their vows to be prayed for and be licensed as ministerial probationers. So presented, moderator. Thank you. Now, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the King and Head of the Church, 
who being ascended on high, has given gifts unto people for the building up of the body of Christ. We are met here by the authority of the General Assembly of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana to appoint Emmanuel Echampo, Patrick Ni Ousu Ama, Boaz Kofi Esiama, Sledge Siao Mafo, Michael Obri Yeboa, and Emmanuel Kwametete as preachers of the gospel, probationers for the holy ministry, and to license them to administer the sacraments. In this act, the Presbyterian Church of Ghana, as part of the Universal Church, worshiping one God who alone is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, affirms anew his belief in the gospel of the sovereign grace and love of God. Through Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, incarnate, crucified, and risen, God freely offers to all people upon repentance and faith the forgiveness of sins, renewal by the Holy Spirit and eternal life. He commissions them to labor in the fellowship of faith and to call all people throughout the world to acknowledge and bow to the kinship of Christ. Now, wherever you are, you are going to stretch forth your hands upon them. You're going to pray for them, praying for special impartation of the Holy Spirit from heaven upon their lives, upon their ministries, praying that the Holy Spirit will touch their lips and touch their hearts and touch their brains and touch every part of their lives. May the Lord be so real to them at this time. Pray for all their stations, the stations they will be sent to. Pray that the Holy Spirit will be their environment. Oh, yes, I want you to open your mouth. Now, bumpire, for me, share a radensa. I said, me till say, oh, bumpire. Now, I'm going to say, I'm going to be a person who is 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 a Let's be silent before the Lord. So almighty and eternal God, the father of spirits and the lover of the souls of people who has promised to abide in the midst of your people forever. Direct us, O God, by your good spirit, as in the name of your risen and ever glorious son, whom you have made head over all things to the church. We set apart these, your servants. We set apart these, your servants. We set apart these, your servants, for the service of your gospel. Give them, O God, such power of understanding and utterance that as they preach the unsearchable riches of Christ, they may be enabled to enlighten the ignorant to guide the perplexed, to arouse the indifferent, to win those who deny you, and to gather into the fold of your kingdom many who wander in the ways of error and sin. Spare them, O God, if it pleases you, that in due season and rich in grace and experience, they may be ordained to the ministry of your word and sacraments. Teach them to have steadfast care for their own souls, Multiply in them, O God, the gifts of your love. Sanctify and confirm them, O God, by your heavenly benediction, that holding fast their profession without wavering, they may finish their course with joy, and finally in your mercy receive full reward in your eternal and glorious kingdom. These things we ask through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who taught us to pray, saying, our Father, Now, Emmanuel Echampo, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we do now appoint you to preach the gospel of the grace of God and to shepherd the flock and to exercise your gifts as probationer for the holy ministry. And we further give you license and authority to administer the sacraments. 
May the blessing of God Almighty, who alone is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be with you and rest upon you. The Lord be in your hearts and with your lips, that you may worthily declare his holy gospel. Amen. Amen. Patrick, ni Ousu ama. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we do now appoint you to preach the gospel of the grace of God and to shepherd the flock and to exercise your gifts as probationer for the holy ministry. And we further give you license and authority to administer the sacraments. May the blessing of God Almighty, who alone is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be with you and rest upon you. The Lord be in your heart and with your lips that you may worthily declare his holy gospel. Amen. Amen. Boaz, Kofi Esyama, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we do now appoint you to preach the gospel of the grace of God and to shepherd the flock and to exercise your gifts as probationer for the holy ministry. And we further give you license and authority to administer the sacraments. May the blessing of God Almighty, who alone is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be with you and rest upon you. The Lord be in your heart and with your lips, that you may worthily declare his holy gospel. Amen. Sledge Siam Mafu, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we do now appoint you to preach the gospel of the grace of God and to shepherd the flock and to exercise your gifts as probationer for the holy ministry. And we further give you license and authority to administer the sacraments. May the blessing of God Almighty, who alone is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be with you and rest upon you. The Lord be in your heart and with your lips that you may worthily declare his holy gospel. Amen. Amen. Michael Obri Yabua, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we do now appoint you to preach the gospel of the grace of God and to shepherd the flock and to exercise your gifts as probationer for the holy ministry. And we further give you license and authority to administer the sacraments. May the blessing of God Almighty, who alone is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be with you and rest upon you. The Lord be in your heart and with your lips, that you may worthily declare his holy gospel. Amen. Emmanuel Kwame Tete, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we do now appoint you to preach the gospel of the grace of God and to shepherd the flock and to exercise your gifts as probationer for the holy ministry. And we further give you license and authority to administer the sacraments. May the blessing of God Almighty, who alone is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be with you and rest upon you. The Lord be in your heart and with your lips, that you may worthily declare his holy gospel. Amen. Amen. And so now, Emmanuel Echampo, Patrick Ni Ousu Ama, Boaz Kofi Esyama, Sledge Sian Mafu, Michael Ubri Abua, Emmanuel Kwame Tete. You went down as brothers. Now, you have risen as reverends. So we confer upon you the title reverend. And so Reverend Emmanuel Echampo, Reverend Patrick Ni Ousu Ama, Reverend Boaz Kofi Asyama, Reverend Sledge Siang Mafu, Reverend Michael Ubri Yabua, and Reverend Emmanuel Kwame Tete. Congratulations. You are welcome into the ministry as ministerial probationers. I will ask the clerk of General Assembly to lead you so that you can go and dress and let me see that you are properly dressed as ministerial probationers. Assisted by General Assembly Council members. Thank you.
So now, the Reverend Emmanuel Echampo. The Reverend Patrick Ni Owusu Ama. The Reverend Boaz Kofi Esiama. The Reverend Sledge Siamafo. The Reverend Michael Obri Yeboa. And the Reverend Emmanuel Kwamitete. You have been appointed to service in God's church, to preach the gospel, to shepherd the flock of Christ, and to be stewards of the mysteries of Christ. You must therefore earnestly consider the solemn duties of your high calling and enter his service, not trusting in your own abilities and strengths, but in him who enables you to do all things. Be careful to preach nothing but the sure and vital word of God, neither adding to it nor taking anything from it, calling all to repent of their sins and to accept Jesus Christ as their Savior and Lord. You are further to care for the flock of Christ, to pray for them individually, to guide the Christian teaching of children and of the young in home, school, and church, and to strengthen the members in their Christian life, in true godliness and a holy and blameless walk. See to it that you visit them and that you witness both to the rich and poor, that you be a messenger of God's grace to the poor, the sick and afflicted, and that you faithfully exalt and lovingly comfort the dying. You have to maintain Christian discipline in the authority of the word of God courageously not being afraid of anybody, but of him only who is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Be careful, therefore, that you yourselves set examples to the flock in word and deed, in love and faith, thus showing forth the power of the living Christ and his spirit. For this, you must firmly abide in Christ and diligently and daily meditate on his word and entrust all your affairs confidently to him in prayer. Thus you will, in all difficulties and trials of your office, be upheld by him whose power is made perfect in weakness, and who will, on his day, give you his commendation as a faithful servant. So I charge you, go and fulfill your ministries. Go and preach Jesus. Go and teach Jesus. Go and heal in the name of our risen Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Once again, congratulations. You are welcome to the ministry as ministerial probationers. And we, your leaders, promise you, with all that God enables us with, we'll back you, we will help you, we will support you. Once again, congratulations. <laughs>
us receive the benediction, my brothers and my sisters. Unto God's gracious mercies and protection, I commit all of you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord God of Israel lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, who alone is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, rest and abide with all of us now and evermore. Amen. Amen. On behalf of the leadership of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana, beloved in Christ, I would like to thank you all for your continuous donation towards this worthy cause for the expansion of the kingdom of God here on earth. God richly bless you. You can also donate for this same worthy cause for the expansion of God's kingdom here on earth through the account details on the screen. And we shall duly acknowledge your donation. Please, if you also want to worship with us, kindly get in touch with any of our Presbyterian Church of Ghana congregations closer to you. Introduce yourself to the leadership of the church and they shall warmly welcome you and also help you to serve the Lord as a disciple of Jesus Christ. And to meet again next week, remember that Jesus Christ is the light of the world. In him we live and move and have our being. The Lord be with you all. Amen.